Welcome back to the realm of Aston, everybody. Last time we did some battle right here in the arena. That was so much fun, tons of fun. I think I've said that before, but uh, it was. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. We're gonna have. I'm gonna make everybody have a community day, community day with me, and we're going to arrange some fights and maybe some wagers. And uh, I got some ideas here. So let's just come down here. Uh, since the last episode. I've been working on this. I put in some, you know, just some some walkways here, just, you know, courts, stairs, and did some outlines. I put some lighting underneath the white carpets and came in here, and I spent some time, and we kind of have an interior idea of what's going to go on down here in underneath the mob farm, underneath this coliseum, the fighting arena. Um, first of all, this dirt right here, I'm, I'm going to eventually make it obsidian. I just don't want to grind you know like nine stacks of obsidian to cover this little circle here <laughs> so um, eventually that'll be obsidian this will be all come up uh the wood will go up to the top i think um anyway it took me probably a shulker and a half of dark oak logs just to uh do the flooring here and and the floors up there we'll go check them out here in a second i'm going to put these arches on all sides so we can kind of see into the mob farm i think that's kind of cool i do believe that the light level isn't quite uh enough to affect mob spawning in here let's see the light level right here is 10 so then the this glass w block would be nine eight seven yeah so that's farther than two or three away so it, the the light won't affect the, the spawning of mobs inside the mob farm it's far enough away it'll be fine um anyway so we i just made these quick little stairs to get up to the floors down here i think we'll have like vendors like you see in uh, in sports arenas you come in they always have like t-shirt shops and merchandise shops you know uh, memorabilia um and we come up here just here to this to this floor i think old gray man had the idea of making like little glass cages kind of like trophy cases more than a cage and we'll keep like skeleton heads and maybe some armor stands and some weapons and stuff in here and this just leads right here to the first level so you don't have to scaffold up to the top anymore and then to get to the second level you just come up here poop, right here to this level so yeah i got the got the inside of the mob farm done you can run circles around the whole thing or you can jump down a little bit too you know so we still got some work in here to do but i'm kind of burnt out of mob farm for now so Let's, uh, let's jump over to another section a little bit south of here that uh, I've been working on too. So having been a little bit burnt out of working on the mob farm and the Coliseum just right there, uh, I just came over here. We only had a couple spaces left for houses that were officially marked out. Now again, we can build anywhere, right? Realm of Astoneers aren't uh, subject to just these plots that I've laid out, but... I mean, it helps creativity. It helps us so that, like, hey, here's a start. Now I can build a house. You know, we found that it helps a lot to, to just have a kind of a guideline and say, hey, build here, and then people like to build houses. You know, so I came over here to this little peninsula here. We got the river running around, and, and it comes back around and then through our, our city here that we've been building. But this area right here was blank. Spider uh, was yelling at me like, Hey, where can we build next? Cause we only got a couple spots. So she put down this blue wool over here. She's got a really cool layout here. And I just started putting down wool. I built these roads, uh, in between recording sessions here. I did like a little park area. We'll go walk through that here in a second, but let's go. Cool, let's check out the, uh, the vac, the voxel ma map real quick. I hit the, the little client side mod that I got. So here is the uh, mob farm. Juxy's got a lumber yard going over here. Here's the tree farm. So Juxy's got a lumber yard kind of outline starting up over here in the orange. Uh, Tuner's been working with this green wool. Uh, so he's uh, been doing some of his own stuff. Got got a little like uh, bridge coming over the road here. Uh, Spider, like I said, was doing this blue wool. Real cool here on the hill. And I just started laying out these guys. So just like a little thing here. Look, I got a little loop. Um, old Gray's base will come out this way. That's why this yellow wool is here, kind of guiding us like out this way. Uh, there'll be more roads and stuff. Uh, Rask's area is right here. So uh, go subscribe to all my friends. You know, all these people putting out videos, putting out builds, doing awesome streaming. You know, make sure you go follow everybody on all the platforms, including this one. Go ahead, subscribe and like this video. That'd be cool. Thank you. 
um anyway so we got this little this little uh, lots of different shapes you know we got some diagonal houses got some perfectly square houses got some weird diamond shapes got some wiggly wogglies big question mark right here i wasn't really sure what to do over here let's go check it out so as i was building this you know like we got some roads coming through here um got some offshoots you know to get back here to the blank spots you know put a little river house right here that'd be so cool um and I, uh, this little area had a had a pretty sharp hill, so I just kind of cut it out just a little bit, just cut down a couple of these, uh, uh, shoveled out a couple of these dirt blocks and put in like just little park benches, you know, little area old dudes would play checkers and chess or something, you know, little seating area, just planted a, an acacia tree, threw up some some leaves, that's it, you know, just a little something to, like, hey, here's a little park inside of the neighborhood, you know. Um, and we come back here, and then we got back here, and I wasn't really sure. This is kind of a cool peninsula. Um, I wasn't really sure what to do here, so I just put a question mark. Like, I didn't really want to limit someone to building a house here, you know, and, and obviously we can do whatever we want. You don't have to follow my guidelines, but um, something here would be cool. I was thinking like a like a gazebo. Callus built a gazebo thing over there on, the, on Spawn Island, um, but maybe we'll go check that out. I think that would be a good idea. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, uh, I'm going to build houses. I'm going to build a couple houses here. That's what I feel like doing. So, yeah, we'll uh, build some houses. Now. Oh, yeah, by the way, I got full netherite. Check it out. I got all my tools pimped out in netherite. So, that was cool. We just went mining a little bit in the nether. Build some houses. Let's go. But before we build some houses, I'd say we go check out Callus's gazebo thing right here. This is Spawn Island. Old Gray built this little theater. Uh, I think he's making a video right now, so go follow Old Gray Man. Um, but Callus built this little theater. I was thinking kind of doing the same idea on that little peninsula we were just looking at. Um, just a little gazebo park thing, you know, like, little area people could come hang out. He made a piano. Look at this piano. Man, that's not looking good. Let's play it. Oh, those are looms. <laughs> but... Um, you know, just nice little like nature area. Come walk a little bit. You could check out the little gazebo. How cool, right? Let's go build some houses. So we got done building a couple structures here. Uh, I forgot to hit the record button on the first one. Let's go check it out. It's just this little guy over here. I'm sure you saw it at the beginning of the time lapse. Just a little fishing hut over here on the side. You know, you're just gonna, uh, someday we'll put a, there'll be a house right here. We'll just walk down this little alleyway, get to this little fishing hut. Whoop. Got some fishing potions, got some dead plants, you know, cause we don't, when we come fishing, we don't wanna be doing chores, watering plants, you know, so the plants die, oops. Got just a little bench here. Got a little fireplace with our fishes. You know, we got some fishes in there. The barrels just have a texture, so like randomly they can have fish or apples or 
or like stone in them if you face them up or nothing like this one has nothing on it but uh, randomly they just have a texture and we got little fishing poles in here you know we can just sit here right here on the dock and you know just kind of relax go fishing have a good time ah isn't it nice after a long day of building you know we just come out here we just throw in our pole see what we get what kind of fish we got here um i don't even see any salmon or squid around in the river right now that's not a good day for fishing oh well uh, let's go check out the inside of our uh i did the interior of this build off camera so you saw the outside get built let's go check out what the inside looks like we just got you know a nice clean modern open downstairs totally open living space we got some couches over here we just come chill we can yell at the people across making some dinner for us yum yum um got a little table with some little stools you know come up to the top here we got our landing we got three bedrooms in this one so first bedroom bedroom number one do, do, do. i got a bed you know nothing fancy just a little bed you know separated another little bed this one's got a balcony overlooking the river right here looking at the bridge that's pretty cool i thought um we can come out here uh upstairs we don't really have anything we just got a you know garbage upstairs you know uh storage you got a christmas decorations you know you come look outside look down the street hey what's up anyway uh we come out here on the balcony i thought these balconies were kind of cool i want to do something different so it wasn't just the same we got a little balcony we can look down the main road you know let's say we're having parade coming down from the coliseum coming all the way down we can see it watch it go over the bridge anyway i don't know something cool just something uh put together it took you know about an hour or two hour for the outside i guess the time lapse of the outside was 55 minutes or something and then i uh, spent another 30 minutes doing the inside so anyway that's it for this episode we're gonna call it i had a good time hopefully you had a good time watching it uh, don't forget to like and subscribe go check out all the links down in the description we got lots of vastineers links down there go check them out they are they've been putting out youtube videos as well I know some people have been putting out their first videos from Bastin, um, so that's pretty exciting. So, anyway, we'll uh, see you next time. Peace.